Um, I'm gonna do like a countdown. No one's here, but this is gonna be for the VOD later, I guess. So five, four, three, two, one. What's up, family? It's your girl. Gunky. <laughs> this is the podcast talking about the most important things in the world. Um, I'm your host, Gunky. Um, today we're going to be talking about, I think I made the topic. Ooh, Twitch just got back to me. Okay, so I'm going to read the email. Hello, when an emote is declined... You should have received an email containing the general information pertaining to the denial. If you did not receive the email, please be sure to check your spam folders. Support cannot provide further insight into whether or not submitted emotes abide by our emoticon guidelines. Our general rule of thumb is, if you're unsure if something is inappropriate, err on the side of caution. Thank you for reaching out. I just received this email right now as I started the podcast. That's pretty fucking hilarious. Okay, so. All right, so I don't want to take a tangent, but I kind of want to take a tangent. <laughs> so. Um, since I started streaming on Twitch, I've wanted to add emotes to my channel because that's important. People need to see uh, emotes. They won't sub if, you know, there's no emotes. So it doesn't make sense not to have emotes. Now, I've been using Photoshop since I was basically a baby, all right? So I'm a little bit of a graphic designer myself. So I decided I want, I want to do the best and just try my like darn hardest, <laughs> my hard darndest however the, you want to say that to like make my own emotes right so i had a few of them let's see if we can pull them up i'm gonna see if i can pull them up right here for you guys so we're gonna we're gonna use your body wally for just a sec if you'll just hold still this won't hurt a bit um where is he Hey Toxic Huddy, how's it going? Welcome back to the stream. <laughs> That's the emote I made. Is that harmful? Is that in any way, how does that break TOS, guys? Can anyone tell me how this breaks TOS? Like, is that bad? I'm trying to figure this out. And this is what they blocked. They were like, it breaks TOS? Yup. They they decided to can this 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 thingy they were like no we can't we can't have that they were like they declined those they declined this one i'll pull the other ones up they declined this one they declined let me see if i can pull them up too hot for twitch yeah apparently this one's called gunky bliss i th i thought this is funny i was like you know, it's like the sun is hitting you in the face. It's warm. <laughs> the sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. So I don't understand what happened. So I was like, whatever. Okay, no problem. I'll try hard again and I'll do, I'll try a harder job. I'll do a better job. All right, Twitch, just for you guys. Okay. This wasn't going to be the podcast that it was going to be today, but only because Twitch decided to start a war. Twitch, I'm on to you. We're going to war. Because you realize this means war. I don't care anymore. The other one I did was this one. So this was the other emote that I made because I thought that was cute. You know, I'm, I'm a little greedy. I get it. I'm a greedy gamer. I'm okay with it, all right? But like, what the, yeah, what the F? It's called Gunky Gold, okay? And this is the last one I made, Chad. This is the most recent one that I made because I thought it'd be really funny. It's just, it just says greed on it. 
So you just put three of those and you spam that in the chat when I get kind of greedy. This is TOS. Okay, so the emails, all right, and I should really just do this to them. I'm going to screenshot these emails for you guys. I'm going to do this because fuck them. <laughs> because fuck them, that's why. I'm 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 kind of upset, okay? I'm gonna mark see if I can mark all the uh Twitch support emails. I think I think what happened was I didn't read the TOS when I first started and then I did some TOS things, so I get it. You know, it was my bad. I'll own up to this, okay? We'll we'll say this first. So the first <clears throat> Put the emails as emotes. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> I know, right? I'm in the no no list, huh? Yeah, I think so. I think that's what happened. So I think any little like emote that I uh that I tried to add in, they're just kinda like denying them for like bogus reasons, okay? Like it's been like super bogus reasons. Like the emails don't make any sense. Like I'll pull up the emails in a second so you guys can see them, but they don't make any friggin' sense. And I do not understand what's going on. So, so, uh, so we'll, where do I have the emails? But uh, what happened was the thing was where I took my fucking shirt off and I was in my bra and I shouldn't have done that. That was on me chat. I get that. I'm sorry. All right. I will fess up to it. I did it. <laughs> I got blocked. I put it on my Twitch or my Instagram. If you guys go to my Instagram, you'll see that I'll act that I actually have it, um, like a picture <laughs> and a picture of the block and what happened. Um, but yeah, I remember that. I'm sorry, Twitch. I'm in. I'm in good standing. <laughs> Am I not? I can show you clips of something way more inappropriate. I don't, yeah, it's fine. I don't really, like, I believe it. I believe that there's, like, because I've seen shit, you know? Like, I've seen shit that's up there. But, like, I don't, I don't understand why they're, like, flagging all my emoticons. Like, it's, like, so frustrating. L let's see if I can find the previous emote, emote one. Twitch. Okay, my emoticon gold has been rejected. We'll pull that up. All right, I'll show you chat what it looks like. So go here. So it says Twitch. This is the one you guys can see that, right? Pull up chat again. <coughs> I have to get it on one side. It says, your emoticon gold has been rejected. This is the reason that they gave. Image size. Let's see if I can zoom in. Image size. You guys see that? It says image size. What does this mean? They're all the appropriate sizes. This is 128 by 28. I did the measurements myself. It's on It's on the file. This one's 56 by 56. This one's 28 by 28. They're the exact same image all the way down. And then they said, all emote sizes must be of the same image. For more info, please refer to our emoticon guide. So we'll go there. Let's see what they say. I want to see what this BS is. Custom subscriber emoticons are part of the subscription benefits under the Twitch partnership affiliate programs, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if you're already a partner or an affiliate, below are specific instructions. Hateful conduct, harassment, threats of violence, obscene content, sexual content. All right. Does this match any of this criteria? Is it hateful? No, just as greed. What's hateful about greed? 
I mean, granted, it's one of the seven deadly sins. But this is harmless. This is harmless. I mean, the most you could do is troll somebody with it. Really. And people shouldn't be trolling people anyway. <laughs> can this be used in a trolly way? But yeah, but so can other emotes. And I've seen way worse. Fucking school killer has school lewd. It says lewd. Come on, we know what lewd means. Like, I'm not trying to trash talk anybody or any of the emotes uh, that people use. I think they're awesome. And I think people should have the freedom to be able to use whatever emotes they want. Chat, tell me, does, does that look bad to you? Is that hateful? Mm. I guess the guy from moderation team just checked your history. He saw a no-no and just copy-pasted a criteria. I think that's what it was. I think I think I've been like blacklisted. But I it's it's like it's like I wasn't naked, A, okay? And B, I've seen worse. Like It's like I don't know. They sh Twitch shouldn't like keep bad blood with its like, you know? Like and this is like the worst kind of email. Like you go back And this is what they say. Hello. When an emote is declined, you should have received an email. Whoops, sorry. Should have received an email containing the general information pertaining to the denial. If you did not receive the email, please be sure to check your spam folders. Support cannot provide further insight into whether or not submitted emotes abide by emoticon guidelines. Our general rule of thumb is if you're unsure if something is appropriate or er, err on on the side of caution. Thank you for reaching out. That was just like Twitch just being fucking Twitch, you know? I don't know. It's it's frustrating and difficult. <laughs> I feel like they have a bunch of moving parts and they don't know how to like maybe communicate well with their audience. Like a simple, hey, we look this over, you're right. This doesn't, this doesn't, you know, decline our, our things. Thank you for reaching out to us. That would have been like the same amount of time. That would have even taken a lot faster to do than if, uh, than if, than if they like, than if doing that because it took him like four days to like even respond to that you know what i mean twitch is twitching i heard that the moderation team is isolated from all the rest even people from inside twitch don't know the moderation team that's fucking weird that's so weird <sighs> like they should be taking care of their of their people. P people should talk. Like in a company, people need to talk. Even a little bit. Even a little back and forth communication. It saves a lot of time and a lot of headaches in like on more than one place, you know? Like people not being honest to each other, that's what causes headaches. But what what do I know? I don't I don't run a business, right? Whatever. Still, I would just appreciate them being a little bit more, like, forward with me. And just being honest, you know? I feel like a lot of people have this uh, thought, and it's not just me. It's not just me having this thought of, hey, what's going on, Twitch? Why aren't you paying attention to anybody? And that's, and that's frustrating, honestly. I would suggest keep posting them and busting their balls if they rejected them. You know what? I think you're right, Toxic Cuddy. Honestly, that's really what I was actually thinking about. I was like, let's just full on go to war with Twitch. Who controls the battlefield? Controls history. War has changed when the battlefield is under total control. War becomes routine. 